This is the eye gauging snap check. And we will use this for setting up planar beds, routers, table saws, spindle molders, and checking the depth of rebates. A whole range of uses around the workshop. What we have basically is three magnets in the base, so we can put it down to any metal surface. We've got a plunge bar, which is actually on a spring. This can go past the base down by over seven millimeters, and it can lift up to over 50 millimeters. We can change it from millimeters to inches to fractions. The snap check is IP54, so that's going to be great for keeping dust and moisture out of this uh, clever bit of kit. It comes with a battery in and a spare button battery that you can swap over if it gets worn out. You can remove the little anvil at the bottom from the flat one to a rounded anvil. And it can be used then more as a dial indicator if you're testing something like a lathe or a spindle on a pillar drill for uh, accuracy. One of the uses for snap check is on the jointer or surface planer. We put him on the outfeed table, get him back to zero. We can then use it to see how much we're actually cutting off by changing our infeed bed up and down. We will also use it for actually setting up the height of our cutters. We want to make sure that our cutters are the same height all the way across the block and all two, three or four cutters that are in the cutter block here as well. We can use the snap check to check the thickness of a piece of material. Also we can use it to check the thickness or depth of a rebate on a piece of material. And it'll actually go down over seven millimeters or minus seven millimeters below the surface you're referencing from. I'll use the snap check for setting up my routers. So I'll zero them off to the bed on top of your cutter and wind your cutter up to suit the depth you're trying to set up. Once we've got our depth of cut set we can also flip them around and do the offset from the router fence. The snap check is really good at setting up the spindle mould. There's a large clearance area in here so we can go some quite large cutter blocks, plunge them on that's now telling us the depth of cut and we can make any fine adjustments to the exact depth we're trying to achieve. On the spindle moulder we can also set the depth of cut but if you do this you may not be able to see the screen. If we undo the screw we can take the plunge bar off, swap him around to his left and right handed, reattach him on Getting back to your new zero, top of your cutter block, and then we can adjust in whatever hat, what height we're trying to produce. If you want to make a precise cut with your table saw, set the snap check to zero, place him on top of your blade, make sure the crown of your blade is right at the top, and then you can make any adjustments for a height, for a shoulder or a dado cut that you'll be making. We can also use them on our hand plane for checking how much we're going to cut off. Set them to zero on your back sole, put him on the blade and adjust your blade out. Now we know 0.15 a mil. If you're setting up your mortiser, you can set the plunge bar to zero, put him on the face of your mortise chisel and make those fine adjustments till you get him just right. The snap check along with loads of other eye gauging products are available at Woodworkers Workshop in the UK and Europe. Check out the links in the description to find our website.